I'm Josie, I'm a co-founder of Dyer & Jenkins and I'm here to talk to you guys today about raw denim. I like raw denim because it's kind of like a blank canvas. It fades and changes according to the lifestyle that you live when you're wearing them. It kind of tells your story. Here's a good way to show you how raw denim fades over time. You have this pair right here, which is brand new. It's never been worn. And then you have this pair, and that's about three months old. Um, worn every other day or almost every day. And then, although my company isn't this old yet, you have this pair, which has been worn every day for about two years. The fundamental difference between the two is that with pre-distressed denim, someone has already faded them out for you. Uh, you buy them that way. And it's interesting because you buy them so that they look like you're the one that broke them in. Whereas with raw denim, you're the one that actually is breaking them in you have a relationship with that pair of jeans when you buy them raw. And it's one of the only items of clothing that you can actually do that with. Raw denim is just so personalized because you're the one breaking it in. It's unique to you, it's unique to the wearer. Um, you know, you have to put some time in to get your jeans to fade. The reason why raw denim fades over time is because it's dyed with indigo. And indigo is a pigment dye. And what that means is that instead of soaking all the way into the fiber, it kind of sits on top of it. And so over time, the indigo will just chip off and then you'll get cool fade patterns. So some of the more common fade patterns that you'll see on a pair of raw denim is the whiskers, which happen right on the front kind of your higher thigh area here. Another really common place that you'll start to see fading is um, right here on your back pockets. The beginnings of some honeycomb patterns that happen in the back of the leg near the other side of your kneecap, that's what it's all about. So here we're gonna show you the difference between a swatch of selvage denim and a swatch of a more modern piece of denim, which we like to refer to as wide goods. The basic difference visually um, is just that selvage denim has this nice clean edge right here, which you can really only see when people cuff their jeans. Your modern denim, which is produced on a faster loom, does not have the same nice clean edge that selvage has. 